Okay guys, here's my next car for cruising. 1965 Chevelle 300. I don't think it's a deluxe. It might be labeled that. It's got a six cylinder of course. It's not rusty, it's just old. See the interior's kind of decrepit. Wear and tear on it. It's not very fancy, kind of bare bones. I'm gonna be fixing this up. Starts good though. So it's running right now. It's actually got a little engine in it. It's got a 194. Kind of a small engine. We're gonna pull it out. We're gonna put in the Dyno 250 engine, naturally aspirated with a two barrel. And now this has a power glide in it. We're gonna switch it to a five speed Richmond. Real tall, we're in gear so we can go ripping down the highway with it. Nothing fancy. Not even gonna paint it. In fact, if I do paint it, it's gonna be like the Partridge family. Just a cheap paint job. So you guys are gonna have to be looking for me alongside of the road somewhere out in Wyoming, Montana, or Nevada as I'm making my way out to the Inliners Convention. So I'll talk to you later. Bye. Hey, this is a video of that Project 65 Chevelle four-door wagon we started earlier this summer. We've already drove it quite a bit, but I've done some recent work to it. You can see it's not not bad car. Paint is yucky. But the body's good, no rust in it. Some dents, but the rust is good, especially for something here in Iowa. Let's give you an idea of the interior. We did change the front seat out and we put carpet in it. It had lots of insulation under the floor. It's that shiny tinfoil type stuff. And foam. So you can see right here what we got, the shiny tinfoil. That epoxy type floor covering. Sealed it up. Just put new door seals in it, so they shut firm. Go around the back side, put, did the same thing for the tailgate, new weather strips around the edge of it, tracks for it. It's got the nice, nice patina on it. <laughs> Some people think it sucks. Uh, Alright, come around the other side, you can see the air dam put underneath of it. That's from a 91 Chevy pickup. You can buy those for 25 bucks on eBay. And uh, do a little modification to bolt right underneath. And this is the engine. This is what the, the, the dyno engine we dynoed. The 250 dyno engine. It's been natural aspirated, it's been turbocharged. Still has a Clifford 270 cam in it, 194 lump port head. Uh, it's just a, a nice modified engine. Great for running down the road. Electric fuel pump on it. It's a Specter Air Cleaner Snorkel. Hooker headers, which you can't buy anymore. These are old ones. It's got an Offenhauser intake and it's got a Holley two barrel carburetor. It's a 500 CFM, but it's a weird one. See, the linkage is on this side of it instead of on the, the other side. And it's progressive. This barrel opens and then this one opens second. The intake manifold is heated. You can see the water line coming in right here. Comes in from the back of the block, goes underneath, comes around, and it goes back to the thermostat housing. It's got a five speed behind it, posi traction, and just a real geared for the highway. It's got 256 we're in gears. We're gonna start it up, let you listen to it. It uh, has actually a nice idle to it. It idles a little higher once it's warmed up. I do have one exhaust leak. At the header, you gotta fix that up. It's got electric fans on it. There's power being robbed that way. The, start, the alternator is a newer Delco style, small mini one. And just to give you an idea of the idle. I do 
have a single outlet on it, dual headers to the muffler, then it's two and a half inch muffler exiting to the exhaust. So I tried to get that a picture in the video for you on YouTube. We're heading off to Kansas City. About a five hour trip. Talk to you later. Bye. Hi, Tom here. Gonna have a cold start of the car. I haven't started it today. Gonna let you hear it idling again, and then we're gonna rev it up a little bit and let you hear the, the perkiness of it. And then we're gonna drive down the road. Here we go. It has no choke. speed non overdrive the speedometer does not work so I'm using a GPS as my speedometer Stop. Remember, this car has two 56 rear end gears and a fairly tall tire, 27 inch tire. It's all warmed up. You can hear the exhaust. It's got a header. Alright, we're going to take off. Stop.